Let's take a look at using the Move, Rotate, and Scale gizmos to modify these objects. I'll start with this model, showing two different pipe segments. I'd like to modify the smaller pipe to fit with the larger pipe. First, I'll select the Scale gizmo from the Selection panel. Next, I'll select the object I want to scale, in this case, the smaller pipe. Notice how the gizmo appears on the model? I can click on an axis of the gizmo and drag to scale the pipe up or down. I know the smaller pipe is half the diameter of the larger pipe, so I'll specify a scale factor of 2. To rotate the pipe, I'll right-click over the scale gizmo and select Rotate. I can also select Rotate Gizmo from the selection panel. I can rotate the pipe in the X, Y, or Z axis using the axis handle. For this video, I'll right-click and select Set Constraint and set the rotation constraint to the Y axis. Next, I'll specify a rotation angle of 90. To move the pipe, I'll right-click over the Rotate Gizmo and select Move. I can also select Move Gizmo from the Selection panel. Like the Rotate Gizmo, I can move the pipe in the X, Y, or Z axis using an axis handle. This time, instead of specifying a distance to move, let's relocate the Move Gizmo and move the pipe using object snaps. This is handy if you don't know the specific distance or if the parts are not already lined up. I'll right-click and select Relocate Gizmo. Next, I'll use a Center Object Snap to relocate the gizmo to this hole in the flange. To move the pipe, I'll select the Y axis handle on the gizmo. Now I'm moving the pipe from the flange instead of from the middle of the pipe. I'll use a Center Object Snap and snap to the hole on the other flange. Using gizmos, I was able to scale, rotate, and move this pipe.